one of my very favorite, very favorite teachers, Kim Kelly. She recently wrote, let me make sure I get it right. It says, I'm sitting in my car. It's the last day of school and all I can think is, I could have tried harder. I could have done more. I didn't do enough. Heavy. And I know that feeling. Every, every, te every teacher knows that feeling. Every teacher that loves their kids and cares about them deeply and truly wants to be the most important person they've ever had in their lives. We have all thought that, we felt it, we've experienced that. All of us, no matter what kind of teacher you are. You know, on the, on the last day of school, there's really two kinds of teachers. There's the kind of teacher that the last day there, it's this big party and they're running through the hallways. You know, they're getting their sign out sheet, they're, you know, all the signatures from all the different people around campus are getting all the signatures of the first one. And I have like forged hundreds of those signatures and they're they're done they got the party hat on they're running out the door the bell rings of the first one out the door they have streamers attached to the car you can hear their wheels squealing at you know squealing out of the parking lot they're going to be at happy hour in seven minutes and and there's the other kind of teacher that yeah that's me where like the bell rings and you're just sitting in your classroom alone sitting in the silence and looking at those empty chairs empty desks and reliving the moments of the of of the year, and and thinking about, and re-experiencing about, you know, the struggles and and the, the hilarious moments, all the funny stuff that happened, and thinking about the metamorphosis of kids and how they looked coming through the door that that first day so reluctantly, and and what it was like looking at that kid in your mind on the last day, knowing it's the last moment our classroom family will be together, and hugging and crying and everybody dispersing down the hall and I think I, I, I would leave class you know I would finally leave and I would walk down the hall and I would I would see uh, I'd see a teacher sitting in her classroom you know in the dark doing the same thing I'd see another teacher down the next hall leaning against the door trying to get herself out the door out to leave you know I go in the parking lot I'd see another teacher hand on the steering wheel you know her forehead on the back of her hand thinking about the school year Every teacher, whether it's that, they're going to re-experience it, have those thoughts. Did I do enough? Did I give enough? Did I, did I try hard enough? They're either going to do it on that last day of school or the next day or two weeks into the summer. We all go through it. And, man, I, like, I have a love-hate relationship with those kinds of thoughts. And I love them because when the fact that a teacher has those thoughts, it means they love their kids. It, it's that important. They're constantly thinking, did I do enough? Did I give enough? Did I try hard enough? And also, you know, those thoughts really are, are the seeds. They're, they're the seeds of desire for wanting to be better. That The reason they have those thoughts is because they want to be a better teacher for the next group of kids. But here's why I hate them. I hate them because they're not fair. Like they're hurtful to teachers and they're not fair to have those thought to have the thought could I have done more this school year the, the, the answer is always going to be yes like you could, could I have tried harder yeah I could have tried the, so it's not you know those thoughts are so manipulative like having that thought is just a way to manipulate yourself into feeling like bad about the year because you're always going to be, be able to come up with an answer of yes I could have done more like like you, you'll think you know well there was that Saturday where I got caught up in a six hour marathon of chopped on the food network when I could have been working and um, I left on that Tuesday I left at 3.30 and staying two hours past my contract time that I usually stay I went home right at 3.30 but 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 the truth is like you needed that Saturday six hour marathon of chopped because you had to refuel you had to shut your mind down and, and recover from teaching and, and just not think about it like you need because like chopped takes no thought so you needed to think to, to shut down the thought and, and thoughts and, and stop the thinking and stop the creativity so you could be refueled for your kids and you went home at 3.30 on that one day because you just had to shut it down you couldn't take another moment of it but that way you could come back refueled and fresh and rejuvenated and re-inspired at 7 a.m. You know, for 15 and 15 and a half hours later, like you needed those 15 and a half hours to recover. So you can't look at the whole school year. You have to look at 
at individual moments, really. And think about it that way. You know, in that, you know, so did I give enough this year isn't fair. In the moments I had with those kids, did I give enough in those moments? You know, that's what professional reflection is really about. For teachers, you know, this is like a teacher thing. This isn't other occupations. Like, other professions don't have these thoughts, you know. It's not like the lady, you know, selling whatever refrigerators at Best Buy you know she's not sitting in the car after work like thinking did I do did I give enough you know I, sh I should have recommended the side-by-side -side for that family they don't have those this is like a teacher thing and the way you do it as a teacher is in the moment that I have with those kids that I give everything that I had available within me they give a hundred percent of whatever I had on that day in, the, in, in my professional relationships, did I invest enough of whatever I had in the moment of that, on that day, did I give everything I had on that, in my PLC, did I contribute 100% of whatever I had available on that day? I, th I, 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 think, I, I think that's the way to do it. Because when you think about it that way, the answer is, yeah, you, you did. You gave all that you could give in that moment. And you know how I know? The reason I know that you, you gave all that you could give perfectly is because if you had more to give, if you could have done more, you would have done more. You gave all that you could give, you tried harder that you could try, you did all that you could do perfectly. I know that you did and, the, and what I love about it in those moments that you gave all that you could give and did all that you could do and tried as hard as you could try because of those moments, because of those experiences and reflecting on those moments, that is the reason that next year you are going to be an even more amazing teacher for your kids.